Well, gray whales are making their way to Baja for their yearly migration. It's a part of nature that many people want to see. KGL News reporter Amanda Starantino takes us out to the Santa Barbara Channel that's now been given a special designation when it comes to whales. It's on these winter days when you will find a naturalist, Holly Loheis, on board the Island Packers boat in the Ventura Harbor. Hi, welcome aboard. We're going to head out to the Santa Barbara Channel. We are in search of whales today. Everyone hoping to catch sight of a whale on this excursion out into the channel. Along with plenty of other sea wildlife, you can see humpback whales all through the year. But the gray whales are only here this time of year. In March, April, we won't see them again until next December. Seeing them and their most acrobatic activity never gets old at all. The route these whales are on? just became more protected too. The Santa Barbara Channel is now accredited as a whale heritage area. One of only two in North America and one of only 10 in the world. Organize areas around the world with responsible tourism, a great diversity and abundance of whales and dolphins, and really important conservation initiatives that are put in place to best protect the whales. One of those research conservation efforts has to do with the international shipping lanes that go through the channel. Each year, more than 2,000 large container vessels steam through this area. One of the biggest threats facing the larger whales like blue whales and fin whales is being run over from these container ships. Shipping companies have agreed to a voluntary slowdown in the Santa Barbara Channel. That keeps necessary commerce moving, but also protects the whales in the path. So you're looking for spouts. You can see that visually from a pretty far distance. On the journey across the channel, Captain Joel Barrett keeps an eye out for wildlife. Yeah, I've got you. Go ahead. Ran across, pod of right now, top dolphins. Okay, I'll head that way. Captain Barrett steering us right into a magnificent pod of dolphins, giving these passengers a show. Some even surfing right alongside the boat with us. The more we get to interact with the dolphins out here and hopefully, hopefully soon to find a whale, we get to see that we can coexist in a very natural, friendly way that's best protecting them. This is the spot where you can usually catch some whales. There's a four mile gap between Santa Cruz Island right there and Anacapa Island right there. And this is the southbound migration route that the gray whales take as they head down to Mexico. So hopefully, we see some whales. The day on the water was made complete with a sighting of a gray whale's tail. We'll see the animals in a natural setting on their terms, and, and we've come to appreciate that conservation and protection is all about protecting what you love. Protecting a treasure off our coast in a place this wildlife calls home. In Ventura, Amanda Starantino, KCAL News.